Dplyr is the language of data manipulation which consists of various types of verbs like select, arrange, filter, mutate and summarize. This video is about the case when statement which can be used to create a conditional logic in your applications. We would be using this logic to create the age groups from the age of the patients using the date of birth as the starting point. Okay, so let's get started. We would be using these three libraries, dplyr, wakefield and ggplot2. Let's create some dummy data and the wakefield package has many useful commands which can be used to create the dummy data. In this case, I'm using the age command and I'm saying, give me some ages and it has given me 10 different ages in years. And using a different command, I can create date of births and that's what we would like to use. We would start with the date of births for 5,000 patients and the date of birth would be at random and I want to get the data from 0 to 120 years. So this function would actually give us dates for 5,000 patients. Let's change the output into a data frame. And then also we would like to change the name of the, the data column as date of birth using the names command. And let's view the data. We have some random dates for 5,000 patients. Now we would convert the date of birth into age years using these commands. Now let's get into action and we would convert these age years into different age groups. So let's use the patient's data and then first of all I would like to arrange this in ascending order so that we can see the effect of case when statement easily. Data has been sorted in an ascending order starting from lower age and then going to the higher ages. So here is our case when statement. We are actually mutating the data and creating a new column called age group. And using the case when statement, we are saying that if the age years is between 0 and 10, then it should be labeled as 0-10 years, the, the red colored label. Once we run this command, we can actually see that there is a column which has been created and within that age group, some of the data is still blank because we only handled 0 to 10 years. Now we are going to handle the remaining ages as well. So you let's quickly create the other options also to cover all the age years starting from 11 to 20, 21 to 30 and all the other ages. And after the age of 80, we can lump all the ages from 81 to 120 as 80 plus years. And lastly, we would have to do a catch-all statement. So if none of the above works, then it will be labeled as unknown. Now let's run the complete script. And we can see that the age group for all the ages have been populated. Now is the time to do some aggregation of the data and I'm going to run this command. So using our original data, D1, group the data by age group and then do a tally or calculate the frequency. And then let's run this first. And we can see that we have nine age groups and N is the frequency for, uh, for each age group. Now let's calculate another variable. We can create a percentage by dividing n by the sum of the n, which gives you a percentage for each of those age groups. You could also represent this data using a simple histogram using the ggplot and on the x-axis we put the age years and then it's going to give you a histogram. We can also plot a density plot out of it using the germ density. And if I run it, you would have the density of the, the age. Similarly, you can show this data using a simple bar chart as well. Now 
Now let's create a bar chart with a percentage column on the y-axis. And remember we created a column called PCT or percentage which we can use. And if we run that, we do get the percentage on the y-axis but they happen to be the decimal values. We would like them to be properly formatted percentage values so using another command scale y continuous and using the scales package we can use the percent function in that which will format our labels in a properly formatted results which we want. So if I run the complete script together we get the percentages on the y-axis. We can also show this data as a line chart. Here is a simple example of this line chart. The same data can also be shown using a dot plot or a point chart which is going to look something like this. And I hope you found this information useful and practical. Thank you very much for watching it and I'll see you in the next one.